to class. In this video, I want to show you the introduction to order blocks, okay? The market structure being related to order blocks. Now, what are order blocks? So I'm just going to write that one here. So technically, order blocks areas where the institutions intend to pick their orders from. Okay. Pick their orders from. So let us have a look at. I'll just draw a quick illustration here. So there is uh, the market is moving, creates this, creates this, moves in an uptrend, and then it wants to change direction, right? Market wants to change direction, fails to break this high, and then breaks this low. In most cases, the market has created something that we call an order block around the spot, right? And then the market moves into that other block and then falls, right? Now, we have concepts to understanding real order blocks. I'm not going to go so deep into it yet because it's a beginner class, or if I mind, then I would, but let me just keep talking, all right? Market was created an order block for it to perfect this move. However, the market doesn't just create other block, go into it and perfect the move. Mm -mm. The market tries to manipulate of people around this level before it goes into this move. So we could be expecting something like this. The market will do this, come here, bounce, bounce, take people out before coming to take the other block and then move in. So right here, a lot of people must have tried to sell, you know, and must have been victims of this takeout, right? And the other must have tried to buy at some point. Those are not understanding, they don't understand the whole structure. They might have seen some things, forgetting that they must have been break of structures here. And then they try to buy from here and then they get taken out from here. And exactly how other blocks are being used. So other blocks are areas. So the big banks have tried to create this area to actually pick the others from. So let us have a quick look at the market on the one hour time frame. Of what other blocks look like now. Basically, if I go into the market, other blocks are what we all learned as engulfing bar. Right here, we have a small candle and a big candle. Now, most times, this small candle should have wicks, but the wick of the small candle shouldn't be too long above the engulfing bar itself. That is what other blocks look like. Now, you say, is it every engulfing bar that becomes an order block. You know, what makes an order block value? That is what we'll be talking about next. First of all, let's go and identify other blocks in the market. So this is the market right here. We are in an obvious uptrend from all of these spots. We are in an obvious uptrend. The British pounds is gaining a lot of momentum against the Japanese yen. So let us look at other blocks around these spots. Okay. So let's look at other blocks around these spots. And there's a clean other block here. Right here, another block was formed here. Other block was formed here, but it has been mitigated. And other block was formed here, but this very small candle took it and moved. Right. And then an other block was formed. Yeah, which has never been mitigated yet. So price is going to react off this place sooner or later in the future. This another block. See this small bearish candle, the blue one before the bullish candle, the black candle. This is an other block. This is what an other block looks like. And it, to me, it looks like a valid other block right here. Right? It looks like a valid other block and push to the upside. And then another other block was formed there. You can see the bearish candle and then the full bullish candle that engulfed that guy. And from the top of the bearish candle, you draw it to the bottom of the bearish candle. I hope you get it to the bottom right there. And as you can see, the market came right back into it and then moved. Now, some people will say, why didn't the market come into this one and take this one and fall, right? Because we are in an uptrend, uptrend first of all. 
and there has been no violation of the market structure. Now, when I say violation, the market has been moving in an up, down, up, down, zigzag, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, to pick this other block, right? This is a manipulation in here, and then went straight to um, up, down, up, to create a new swing high. So this swing low is a very important swing low and it's a strong one, right? And it's a strong one. So we have uh, the market structure has not been violated. So this um, other block here is not a valid one. So we take that one out, right? We take that one out. So and a valid other block. So how do we know valid other blocks? Let us look at more other blocks before we go into how do we know valid other blocks. Now this is another block, no, not another block. There was no engulfer. This is an other block right here. You can see the market came back right into it and rejected off the other block, even though yeah, they didn't take anybody out of the trade, obviously, because you would have put your stop loss a little bit and below that trade right there. So if you are taking this trade, you will take it from the top and you put your stop loss below it, 50 something pips. So that won't take trade off the one hour time frame. But as you can see the other block, it was created and look at how the market came right into it. And then move, and then you'll be targeting below this point right here. So definitely we are still coming back to hit these spots. Why am I looking at this spot? Because most likely the market might want to start selling from this point. Why? Because the market has failed to create new highs after this high, and it has started creating lows. To this is a double bottom that it came out to finally take. Now a lot of people would have entered buys from here. You know, seeing it all bottom and when it came back here, they would have said, Oh, this is his buy, let us enter from here. Whereas the market came out to so still take them out and then the market started falling. So it's creating new lows, broke this low, creating new lows, broke this low, creating new lows. So, yes, bounced off here, we can catch 100 plus pips and then we can look at this as another other block. This is one other block. We call this type of other block. We have another other block right at the top here, but a lot of weak is there. So we can't take that and then have another other block here. Okay, so this other block might be valid, but we can't take the trade off this other block like this. Now, mostly you don't take trades off the other block just the way I took it, you know. Why? Because market will still give you a chance to enter. If it doesn't give you a chance, then let it go. Like right here, the market gave us a lot of chance to stay in time. If you scale down to lower time frames, you will actually see that the market gave us a chance to enter. Why? Because the market created another other block there. As it hits the main other block, you take note of that place, wait for it to create a fresh other block, which it did right here, right here on 30 minutes time frame. And then you can just wait for the market to come back into it, which it did. And then you take profits below this other block here and your stop loss below this other block here. So we have we reduced our stop loss now and we have bigger reward. Okay, so basically it's how to um, check these things. Okay, so let us look at for another other block, right? Therefore, we now come into what makes an other block valid. I know you want to hear that. What makes an other block valid? Okay, if you can find, okay, mind you, market structure is what determines all these things. Now, I was able to notice this, why? Because right here, the market was creating, let me get that right, creating highs, lows, highs, lows, highs, lows, that did not break this low. You know, we have highs, we have lows, we have highs, lows, then we have a major high, a major low. That's not creating new high again. Low that broke this low, that's one. High that's not break this previous high. Low that form equal bottom so that the market can take. High again that did not break this previous high. Low that broke this bottom. And then we have highs, lows. We have highs creating a double top there. We have lows, we have highs that might come here. That's why our TP is here. And then we have lows that would actually break um, below like that, okay? So that market structure has been broken already in between that spot. So let me give us a lowdown. I like that fact that I want us to enjoy and learn deeply. So we have this, and then the market gives us that break of structure there. You can see break of structure, and the market gives us another break of structure here. Like, okay. We are breaking the structure below, you know, that's it. That is why we have double break of structure now. We have triple, 
because the market first broke structure here after this low trade broke the structure to tell us that broke the structure came back up broke the structure broke the structure again yeah came back up broke the structure again so very valid so here is a very valid other block that we can look at right so what makes an other block valid so if possible write this one down what makes that block valid? One, an engulfer. Very important. It's an engulfer. A complete engulfing handle. At least 80% of the time. Right? Like I showed you, completely engulfing it. The small candle should just be there with wicks and whatever it wants to be with. While the big candle will engulf it, both with the wicks and everything, engulf it, making it a very, very valid uh, other block right there. A very valid other block right there, okay? A very valid other block right there. Very, very valid one, right? Very valid one. So that is it must be an engulfer, very important. Next, let me put uh, this thing there so it gets clearer. Next is, let me give space. It should have imbalance. Engulfing candle. should have been balanced, okay? Engulfing candle should have been balanced. Now, what is that imbalance? I know a lot of you don't know what imbalance is. Um, when we have this candle, we have a bigger candle ahead of it, engulfing this one, right? And then there is a new candle that now forms after this one, you know, create a small wick here. Let me just create a candle first. Let me just create a candle first. And then a small week is created like that. A small week is created here, right there. Now the space between the week and the top of this, this small candle before the engulfing candle is what we call imbalance. Imbalance. And every imbalance must be filled. We we'll talk about imbalance in the stage two class. Every imbalance must be filled. That space in between that candle. Let me quickly show you guys an imbalance on this chart. Imbalances are everywhere, okay? Now, before this candle came into this, came back up here, right? There was an imbalance because this uh, candle that was engulfed by this one, you can see that there's enough space in between this candle and the new candle that formed this year, right here from the bottom of this guy to the top of, to the top of this candle. Let me increase it so you understand better. This candle, this bottom here, to the top of this candle. This middle here is an imbalance. And as you can see, the market came right into that imbalance and dropped, right? It might end up breaking the imbalance, but as you can see, the market came right into the imbalance and then dropped. So that is what an imbalance looks like. Let's have another look of what an imbalance looks like. Look at this, look at this, look at this. An other block was formed here, right? And it broke up off. It's a valid other block, although it was violated, right? Was valid, even though not fully validated, I can see there was as this candle got into the other block, it rejected immediately and rejected how many pips? Let me see 44 pips. Now, if you were to be in this trade, if you if you if you were to be uh someone that wanted to look into this trade and you took this trade from here, right? I took this trade from here and you put your stuff here. I think at 20 pips, you should be done with this trade. You have targeted somewhere really, really high. That's more than something pips. So, and by the time it gave you, let me see, 30 pips, you would have taken partial profit, maybe your TP1 at 20 pips, right? So, TP1 at 20 pips and TP2, and then you have moved your stop loss to it. So, you wouldn't have any loss because other blocks, most times, not all the time, have a reaction. And this reaction was about 30 something pips. You can see the rejection there. So, look at it. There was an imbalance. That also that was also formed around this point that the market came back into. As you can see, this market came back into the imbalance right here. 
from the top of this candle to the bottom of this week, right there, the bottom of the week, the top of the week. So this is the imbalance that was formed here. So as you can see, that's the imbalance that So this imbalance is to be filled. As you can see, the market came right into that imbalance, moved up, came back into that imbalance to clean it up very well, moved up and then tore the whole thing after rejecting over of this uh, this guy. Okay. So let us um, get to understand that purely. So another block needs to, after engulfing, it needs to have an imbalance. It needs to have an imbalance. Now that imbalance, we need to remember it because we'll need it in the next class. Okay, we need it in the next class. It needs to have an imbalance, very important imbalance. Okay, so, and what's the next one that it must have? After it has an imbalance, an other block, needs um what's the next one again i need to check it again um let me look at the chart so i'll remember so i'll remember um so we have our other block let me see we have our other block we have to move it needs to be following trend yes it needs to be following trend it needs to be following trend Okay, very important thing is to be following trend. It's to be following trend. So we know that, okay, we are moving in the same direction, okay? At least for now, I need to understand that it needs to be following trend. If you understand deeper by yourself, you would, you can now manipulate it into not following trend and then take an anti-trend trade. Okay, but for now, another block needs to be following the trend. Very important, okay? very important for it to actually be following the trend because um, if you look at this i saw it buy more than a sell because we have been in a buy for a very long time right so i'm looking at this place for a sell or this one but i don't like the week so i'm looking at this point for a sell so these are the major points that makes an other block valid i will remember other points i might tell you in the next videos but for now these are what i remember and these are very important tools to understand a valid order block. Okay, you see your engulfer, you see your imbalance, and it's following the trend, then you should look into that other block because it's most likely going to be respected. Okay, another thing about, yes, very important one. Another important thing about other block is it breaks, it creates, a break. I almost forgot this one. It creates a break of structure. So I'll quickly explain that for you in the class. Now, the reason why I'm looking at this other block right here is because it created imbalance, it engulfed, and then it broke this structure. You can see it. This other block created this massive break of structure straight down. So most likely, we are likely to see a sell from this point. Let me use the gun box. So right from here, we are likely to see a sell from this other block, right? As expected, the four points that we're looking at, a downtrend, engulfer two, imbalance three, and then break of structure four. So we can look for sales from this point, okay? That's it, the market wants to come back here. We can actually look for sales from this point. We'll see, talk about more about getting into entries on the um, subsequent videos because we need to understand entries. We can't enter off one hour time frame, right? Because we know one thing about market structure. Once the market comes into here, then you just jump into the trade, try to on the one hour time frame. As soon as the market comes into this place on the one hour time frame, then you can now go to your smaller time frame and look for entries. But the market is going to do things like manipulate a lot of people out of the trade, the lessons to fall, come back, and then now finally which is to create a fresh order block around this place. That's where actually do everything we want. Imbalance, break structure, you know, follow trend, and then be, be muscular enough. <laughs> All right, so basically that is that about um, the, the introduction to order blocks, okay? Just so, so go back, go over this video again if you don't understand any part of it and possibly come into my deal and ask me questions. You want us to review this other blog video again. Until I see you in the next video, guys. Bye.